show you how to clean both fish filters. There are two on this tank. There's this one here, and this one's super easy. And this one over here is a little bit more complicated. So we'll start with this one. Um, you don't have to turn this one off to clean it. It's really easy. You just can take off the lid, set it to the side. You're gonna pull out the stuff that's in here. So there's these two little kind of gray things here. You can lift up on that and that will pull everything out that's in there. And you're gonna get wet a little bit. So then you wanna tank that over here. And then we'll just spread everything out and then we can hose this all off. To get this clean, you literally are just going to hose them. Just flip them over. You just kind of want to keep rotating them and um, until there's no more algae coming out. Don't ever use soap or chemicals on this stuff because you not, can't be sure that you're going to get it all out and you might kill the fish. So those look pretty good. I'm going to hose this off quick. If it's really gross, you can scrub it with a brush, but usually just hosing it off works pretty good. So these little carbons go on the bottom. And this little sponge is what gets really dirty, as you can see. Um, so it takes a little bit to get this clean. So I'm gonna hose this. Make sure I squeeze it out good. I'm hosing it, that'll help get all the algae out for a minute. So it's not quite clean yet, as you can see, it's still getting brown water out. So. running clear now. It's not going to be perfect and that's fine. Um, we just want to do it the best we can. So that looks pretty good. And then same thing for this one that on goes on top. clear on that so then it goes sponge next and then this one on top if you put the two little ones on top the water pressure is too much and it'll actually float them out so it looks like that and then this can go back in now you can do this cleaning procedure in a sink it's just the hose is a little bit more pressure to it so it's a little bit faster so and all you gotta do is stick these back in here and you just kind of gotta slowly evenly press this thing down. It'll go all the way down. And then just stick the lid back on. So that's that side. You see the water's still flowing. Everything looks good here. This side, okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated. It's this big um, tank filter right here. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is if you look on these hoses here, 
There's these two little levers. You're going to want to turn them so that it shuts the water off. And then you want to unplug the system, okay? Once those are shut off, you can undo each of these four latches. Not knock things over. And then we can get this lid off. It's pressurized, so it might take a minute. Can you pause that. So to get this off, you want like a flat-headed screwdriver. You're just going to gently stick it in here and kind of crank this up, and it'll break the seal. This thing's pressurized, so it's really hard to get off if you don't break the seal. So I'm going to drain the water out the top here. There should still be water in these hoses. Now if you forget to turn these off, then you'll have to re-get water in these hoses so that it can circulate. And it's a really big pain in the butt, so don't forget to, to turn the hoses off so the water remains in those hoses. And then you can just leave that part sit. You can carry this part over to the drain. Once you're over here, this, there's a basket inside. And you just pull the basket pieces out. And then dump the water out of here. And then you want to rinse these out so, so they're just cotton layers like this. So you're just going to rinse them out, stick them back in like that. It doesn't matter which cotton layer is which, as long as you know the order to go back in. When these cottons get really, really gross and you can't get them clean, there are more underneath the fish tanks in the boxes. But this fish filter is rated for 200 gallons. That's only a 75 gallon tank. So. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so cotton goes in the bottom. And then the black mesh looking one and you have a cotton and then your charcoal and then a cotton on top and the only thing that's important is when you go down through here you want to make sure these holes all line up so they go in just like that and in that order. This goes on so that the graded part goes up. So that's the only weird thing. Because you would think it would go the other way, but it doesn't. That little graded part goes up. And that is how then the, that hole goes down through. So we just got to fill this back up with water.
carry this back over. Be careful not to break anything. And then to get it back on, if you look at the bottom of this, this part here is what goes down in that hole. So you just gotta make sure that goes on the right way. It won't fit on any other way. We're gonna make a mess, that's fine. Um, oh, I almost forgot. These little rings, you need to make sure those are on there. You can see they're kind of gross, so those came off, so we gotta put those back on. So those go on here. a little cantankerous. There we go. Actually, they, they go like this. No, well, maybe not. I probably should have read the directions where I did this, huh? I know they go on here. Alright, so then that so that it's down on that hole. Yep, like that. Snap these back on. Make sure they all latch. So they're all latched. I'm going to Plug this back in. That's a normal noise. I'm gonna open these back up to get the water flowing again. Then you wanna prime it by pressing this thing. It should help suck the water up. If you hold it, sometimes it works better if you just hold it. Once all the air's out and it's flowing good, that's all you have to do. 